Hello my sunshines, my name is Ayumi and welcome to my Tokyo Treat Taste Test! <laughs> Today I will be tasting the Tokyo Treat subscription box for the first time! Ah! If you don't know, Tokyo Treat is a subscription box where you get tasty treats from Japan and a drink if you decide to do the premium subscription. And this is not paid promotion. I'm super not getting paid for this. Like, paying for this box came out of my own pocket. <laughs> Nevertheless, I really hope that you enjoy this taste test. And let's look inside, shall we? Oh, this has a lot of stuff in it. So this is what we've got. We got this little booklet. I assume this tells us what's inside. And these are all of the snacks. This is so fun. I'm so excited. There's so much. Oh my God, is that a whole bag of Kit Kat? Wow, I'm so excited. And then it comes with one drink because I paid for the premium subscription, which is a Welch's Sparkling Rosé. So let's see what is in this little booklet. I have this little leaf that says, let's go on a Tokyo date. And it shows you all of these like nice places to go if you're in Tokyo, which is fun. We got grab crepes in Harajuku. Explore the world of Ghibli at the Ghibli Museum. Climb Tokyo Tower, literally. Tokyo Tower has 600 plus steps. Yikes! Eat snacks and watch the sunset at Harumi Waterfront Park. See all of Tokyo from the Odaiba Pallet Town Ferris. Someone's at the door. Sorry for that, you're gonna hear her bark. But yeah, this little leaflet contains a lot of cute little things. Here is the list of everything we have in the box. That's so many things. I think we're gonna go in the order that is on this menu. I think that's good. Hana! <laughs> Let's just get this show on the road. So first we have the Welch's Sparkling Rosé Soda. Get the Valentine vibes with Welch's Sparkling Rosé. This soda is made using mellow and fruity grapes with a hint of strawberry that gives the soda a pretty pink color. Here is our bottle of Welch's Rosé Sparkling. It is so cute. I love the color. I love the designs that Japan chooses to put on their products. It's just so clean and just so pretty. And it's just nice to look at. Woo! My parameters are I'm gonna give it a score from 1 to 10 and I'm going to let you know if I would keep eating it or drinking it or if I won't. So those are my only parameters for this taste test. So let us try this drink. Mm. It's, it's kind of sour, but not as sour as you would expect. Cause like it's a rosé, a wine kind of thing. Obviously this is not alcoholic. And then I can taste the strawberry, which is my favorite part. I love strawberry. <laughs> it's very nice, I like it. Would I keep drinking this? Yeah, probably. I'll probably finish it by the time this taste test is over. So, kanpai. I'm gonna score it probably an eight out of 10. It's very good. Next we have Kit Kat Strawberry. Share a Japanese Kit Kat with someone special. Enjoy the rich and slightly sour pink strawberry chocolate treat that was made for two people. Or one if you're not into sharing. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let us try this. Here is the bag. It is like a paper bag. It's an interesting texture, honestly. They're individually wrapped! I'm having the time of my life. Here is the little individually wrapped bag. It says, Minna de break suru da? Does that make sense as a sentence? Whatever. We're eating a strawberry Kit Kat. Oh, they're so tiny. <laughs> it's so cute. It smells. Mm, it smells so good. Chosen one! It was so 
said that you would destroy this and not join them. It honestly tastes like a strawberry pocky. Like to be perfectly honest with you, it tastes like strawberry pocky. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna rate this 10 out of 10. So I'd eat this probably for hours. <laughs> Next up on our list is the Pocky Heartful Cherry. Oh my God, they just throw the whole box in here. So this is the box that it comes in. I love the heart-shaped sticks. Look at them. They have one that is crunchy strawberry that is also a heart-shaped stick. I love the crunchy strawberry ones. Those are my favorite. They're like a chocolate stick and they are dipped in strawberries and they have like dried up strawberry pieces. So let's open this up. Ah, I'm so in love with this packaging. Ah, look at it. I don't know how I feel about the sweet and sour cherry dip, but so this is our Pocky. Here's the little heart shape. And I don't know if you can see it very well. It is indeed shaped like a little heart. I'm gonna try the stick first because this is supposed to be strawberry and this is supposed to be cherry. Let me try the stick. Honestly, the stick doesn't taste like anything. You know, it's supposed to be how they work together, not apart. So I'm gonna give it a fighting chance. taste anything. Oh, there it is. That's not bad. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I'm gonna put that on the scale at a five out of 10 because it's a really subtle flavor that I can't really describe. It's not my favorite, but it's still pretty good. Would I keep eating this? Yeah. I mean, I probably will keep eating it later just to figure out what this actually tastes like. Next we have strawberry ice cream marshmallow. It is this one. Look how cute that little guy is. Can I read any of this? Strawberry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry if my Japanese is like awful. I've been out of practice for quite a while. <laughs> ah, this is an adorable little Luke. Okay. Okay, I didn't get much of the jelly, but the marshmallow is really, really good. Let me get more into it. <laughs> mm. Oh God. Oh, that was a big chunk. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, oh. I'm not shuddering in a bad way. It's just that I made a mistake and I just grabbed all of the sour jelly. Oh my gosh. That was really sour, but it was good. I liked it. I'm gonna give it probably a five out of 10 as well. Would I keep eating this? I'm gonna have to, because this is all I have left. Cheers, let us let us eat this together. Oh, the sound of the cone is just so severe. And it doesn't even like, taste like a regular cone. It tastes like paper. I'm gonna turn it down to a four just because eating the cone is not pleasant. Next up, we have Uncle Pierre's Strawberry Roll Cake. Indulge in some sweet and sour cakey goodness with this delicious mini roll cake. Maybe this tasty cake isn't something you'll want to share. That is going to be this one. Pierre Oji-san no roll cake ichigo cream. Yeah! All right, so here is the bag. It's a cute little bag as well. And there's Uncle Pierre in the corner. He's so cute. I love all of this packaging so much so far. It's so adorable. Let's open this up. Oh, that was <laughs> a lie. You would think this whole thing is, you already see the empty space in here. The roll cake is actually down here. It's a little baby. 
Here we go. Mm, that's good. I like that. I love how cakey it is. Like, I know that's a little redundant to say like you like how cakey a cake is, but hear me out. It's just really soft and makes me feel like I'm home. You know, I'm gonna say, it's like a seven out of 10. Would I keep eating it? <laughs> I just ate it. <laughs> Palate cleanser time. Gonna take another sip of this bad boy. Like, I, I don't like wine flavored things, but this is so good. Ooh, ah, the sour grapes hit me. Sorry, it's not a bad, as in like it's bad. <laughs> it's a bad, as in like it's sour. I promise, I don't hate these things. They're all quite good so far. So those were the premium options that you could get in this box. Now we move on to the classic list, which is pretty much just the rest of these right here. Let us begin with the Calbi Luxury Chocolate Potato Chips. Oh yeah, I am so excited for chocolate covered potato chips. It's a weird thing to like, but for some reason, my mom bought these like chocolate covered potato chips from like Burlington or something. I don't really remember where they're from, but Jesus Christ, she gave me the chocolate covered potato chips like as a snack at my college and they would fill me with so much joy. The description for the potato chips. What's Valentine's without chocolate? These tasty and salty potato chips have a strong and mellow umami flavor, thanks to the chocolate and cocoa powder sprinkled on top. Wait, wait. So here's the box. It's very elegant. I mean, it did say luxury. Let's hope, right? <laughs> what was that thing? Ew! Oh. Smells good. Here's a potato chip. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Cause I'm excited. I'm, okay. Mm. Mm, I love these. Mm. I have to give these a 10 out of 10. These are so good. Would I keep eating this? You're gonna have to put me in jail if you want me to stop eating this. Oh my God, these are so good. Palate cleansing time. Woo! That's very sour. It's slowly getting more sour as I drink it. That's so interesting. Next we have Seku Seku Panda strawberry cookies. Those are right here. Saku Saku Panda. Yay! <laughs> so let us jump into it. Oh, it's a baby. Look at him. Perceive him. It's either a baby or sticking its tongue out at me. Either one is really cute. Oh God. Ew. <laughs> It's like a shy guy that has like little bear ears on him. It's a little disturbing, <laughs> but it's still really cute. Let's try Saku Saku Panda. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's like a sour strawberry flavor with like chocolate that just sneaks up on you. It's really good. I like these. It says like 70 expressions, but there's like 10 cookies in this bag. Oh no. He's an angry man. He's an angry little boy. I'm gonna give that probably a nine out of 10. Will I keep eating them? Oh yeah. Next up is <laughs> <clears throat> choking to death, I guess. Sorry, I forgot palate cleanser. Ah, up next, we have bubbly taiyaki strawberry flavor. I'm excited. Mostly because I love taiyaki. They're so cute. It feels crunchy. Here's the packaging. I just love the little colorful letters that they use a lot. 
it really catches my attention and keeps me like gravitating toward the snack, you know? Let's just jump right into it. It comes on like a little tray. Ooh, you get it, I guess. Here's a cross section. This is the same chocolate that is on the Saku Saku Panda. Very delicious. I will also give this a 9 out of 10. This must be so riveting for you. Watching me eat stuff, absolutely enraptured by my charm in me consuming foreign foods. <laughs> will I keep eating it? I would. Next one, curry turtle crackers. Well, I love curry. So I'm looking forward to this. So it's this bag right here. Kind of a weird little bag. Oh. Oh <laughs> no! I don't like the smell. It does, in fact, smell like curry roux. And it threw me off because everything else has been so sweet and I really wasn't expecting them to like throw this in the middle. But well. <sighs> Palette cleanser. Okay. Our palette has been cleansed. Does that look like a turtle shell to you? Wait! That's the shell, and these are the little turtle arms and legs, and that's the head. Mm. It doesn't really taste like curry to me. I also just don't like the type of like little cracker that they use. I'm gonna give this a one out of 10. Wow. Will I keep eating these? Absolutely not. No, thank you. I am good. Next up, Noshiume Plum Candy. I've never really had plum candy. At least there's a first time for everything. So here is the packaging. It's like a, kind of like a fruit roll up, but for plum. I'm not enjoying the fact that like right here, I don't know if you can see, there's some liquid moving around in there. I don't feel very comfortable with the juices that are on top of that, but yeah. Let's see, let's just try it. It doesn't smell like plum. It smells like this kind of like wonton chips. Wonton chips at Chinese restaurants, they have this like really, really yummy sauce that you dip the wonton chips in. It smells just like that sauce. Ooh. I'm going to give it a one out of 10. Will I keep eating it? I physically, physically cannot. So, strawberry daifuku. Thank God we're getting back to the sweet stuff. <laughs> that is going to be this little baby right here. These little guys, the happy little strawberry guy right here. So let's open this up. There we go. It's so soft. Just touching it is making me very happy. Let's try this. Look at this, look at the cream. It's like this frosting like cream. Yeah, that's good. I will give Ichigo Daifuku a seven out of 10. Will I keep eating it? Yes. Palette cleanser time. Next up, we have yakisoba snack. And that would be this one. It's not really noodly in here. It's kind of like rice in a bag. Oh, so this is what the snack itself looks like. Let's see. Kind of reminds me of corn nuts, which isn't bad. I didn't like corn nuts, but I like the flavor. So that's what the snack looks like on the inside. It suddenly got a very fishy taste to it, which kind of ruins it a little bit for me, but that's just because I personally don't like fish. This isn't too bad. Um, I'm going to give it a four out of 10. And would I continue eating it? Why not, you know? Let's do a palate cleanser right here. Umaibo cinnamon apple pie. So it should be, ah, this one. 
has a little anime girl on it. I don't know who it is, but she sure is cute. This feels kind of like a, a kinder bar, if, any, if anyone knows what that is. Like the lumps in a kinder bar. It's a little crushed at the beginning. That's yummy! I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. It's really not too bad, I liked it. Next up, we have Yamato Shrimp Crackers. I literally just said I don't like fishy flavors and now we're here. Whatever, we're still going to try it and give it a fair shot. Note, does contain shrimp. You know, if you said shrimp crackers and they didn't contain shrimp, that'd be a little bit of a false advertisement now, wouldn't it? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Here's our little bag with this little shrimp guy and a little ojisan and obasan fishing. Don't catch my little friend. I'm about to pay off his house loan. Here we are. It smells fishy. It's not like the curry crackers that like assaulted my nose. It's a very gentle seafood smell. Here is a cracker. Hey, not too bad. I don't hate it. I'm gonna give it, I'll give it a four out of 10. I probably wouldn't continue eating this, but with my stress eating habits, I just might. <laughs> Palette cleanser time. So next up we have Coco Bolo, and we are down to our last three treats. It's a very elegant looking little bag. Makes me want to eat them very badly. So let's not dally and taste these little balls. They smell just like Cocoa Puffs. I shit you not, they smell almost exactly like Cocoa Puffs. This is just Cocoa Puffs. I love them. <laughs> I'm gonna rate them nine out of 10. Will I keep eating them? More likely than not. Palette <laughs> cleanser! Next up, we have Japanese squid crackers. Uh, I'm looking for a crunchy treat to break up Valentine's sweets. No! Note, does contain squid. It would be this little guy right here. He's cute. He's so cute. Let's go ahead and open him up. It doesn't smell like anything, which makes me just a little scared. Cheers. Mm. Ooh, we're putting it back, we're putting it back, we're putting it back. Oh no. <laughs> I do not like fishy taste and that was extremely fishy. It wasn't horrible, so I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. But would I keep eating it? No. And the last one, full moon pong cracker. So we are ending it on a rice cracker. So here is our full moon rice cracker. It's a little bunny, it's a little moon bunny. How cute. I'm gonna keep it in its wrapper for now. It's supposed to have a sweet and spicy soy sauce flavor. I don't particularly like rice crackers because I feel like the texture just does not agree with me. Yeah. Um, doesn't really taste like anything. There's like this brown thing, it's like a layer of candiedness. It's not my favorite, it keeps getting stuck on my teeth. I'll give it a four out of 10. Would I keep eating it? Probably not. It's really just the texture. I'm really annoying with food. I'm so sorry. That is the end of our adventure with Tokyo Treat. My final thoughts. I feel like it was really varied and it was really nice. Um, like I liked the variety, didn't like the fish stuff. But honestly, my winner is the Kalbi Luxury Chocolate Potato Chips. Those were so good. So that marks the end of our Tokyo Treat Taste Test. 
I hope you guys have fun. I know I did. This was really fun to do. And if you want to see me do more things like this, please let me know and I will be happy to oblige. So in the end, thank you so much for watching friends. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I put an Ayumi smile on your face. Bye.